These homes belong to designers, illustrators, and stylists. They have one thing in common, they all live in Berlin, and all of them were paid a visit by Frederik Frede and Tim Seifert. In 2009, the pair started the online project Freunde von Freunden, or Friends of Friends. The idea was that behind every interesting person is an interesting home. We always like to see how other people live. Many people look at our website and use it as inspiration for decorating their own apartments. It started with apartments belonging to the pair's circle of friends. But word gradually spread. Each month, around 150,000 visitors to the site take a look at how Berlin's creative community lives. All that interest encouraged them to publish a book. Spanning more than 550 photos, it shows how illustrator Zara Illenberger, architect Axel van Exel, or fashion designer Vibke Dirks furnish their private spheres. There are 28 portraits in the book, a best of everything featured on the site. We picked our favorites, the ones that best represented Berlin, a cross-section of everything on the website. Another successful interiors blog was started by American photographer Todd Selby in 2008. The homes he captured included that of British it girl Peaches Geldof. The blog quickly spawned imitators like Zolebisch DE in Germany. Users can upload snapshots of their own living spaces. Professionals take the pictures for the Freunde von Freunden blog. Here the team visits gallery owner Sabina Schmidt in her apartment. The photos capture the rooms as they are. Every portrait includes an interview. Visitors to the blog should get an impression of the person who inhabits the spaces. That includes their creative environments like the gallery owner's exhibition room. Voyeurism plays a part, as does wanting to know how other people live. But the selection of people is very important too, including the stories they tell. One of the most spectacular apartments in the book belongs to the couple Karen and Christian Boros. They live in a converted bunker dating back to 1942. The building also houses a collection of more than 700 modern works of art. The couple's penthouse is on the roof. Boros is also the book's publisher. The advertising executive also wants to introduce the book in France and the U.S. A friend had told him about the blog, and he immediately wanted to be a part of it. I never understood why people close their windows and doors and hung blinds in the windows or whatever. I like to have contact to people I don't know. Boros bought the bunker in 2003. The remodeling of the building took five years. Karen and Christian Boros' apartment, that was a little dream from the beginning. We didn't know them, but knew we'd like to photograph it. Then the opportunity presented itself through various contacts. It's one of the nicest apartments in Berlin. It's full of pieces collected from all over the world, like this Chinese sculpture. It's a very personal collection. Ultimately, it's a bit like the work of a lifetime. Everything you see here. You can't simply copy it or buy it, but you can become inspired by a feeling of how it is to live in Berlin. The feeling of following your own rules. And Berliners aren't the only ones opening their doors to the web. The blog has started to present the homes of creative people from all over the world, and another book is already planned to showcase the best from cities around the globe. <laughs>